Merry Brumis, everyone! To show my appreciation for the immense amount of support you've all given me in 2021, I wanted to do something special for you guys this holiday season. So, welcome to the 12 Days of Brumis, where I'll be posting a Christmas-themed video every single day for 12 days straight, and at the end of the 12 days, I'll be picking four random subscribers to choose whatever they want from the Reddit Brew merch store. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and comment a Christmas tree emoji in the comments below. I will also be donating all profit I earn from my merch store for the month of December to the food bank to help families in need in my area. But without further ado, let's merrily prance on into the Reddit stories. Sister-in-law steals my niece's Christmas gift for charity. I have a seven-year-old niece who wants to be a police officer like her dad when she grows up and loves the color pink. The more sickly sweet pink, the better. She's a sweet kid that doesn't ask for much. I like to knit and crochet during the year. Then I give the scarves and hats that I make to my aunt's church who organizes Christmas parties for really low income families. I'm talking about people with children who can barely afford a coat. This party is filled with games and activities for the children. It's amazing since the church is very active in the community and has managed to get sponsors from big supermarkets who offer whole turkeys and lots of food for the parents, on top of quality gifts for the children. I love helping my aunt during this time by giving my time and knitting stuff for those in need. Anyways, about my sister-in-law. My brother recently started dating this girl who I will call Syl for the sake of the story and to be honest, I do not like her. She has trouble understanding personal space, privacy of others, and boundaries. She will insist that you tell her all about private affairs that you don't want to talk about and strives to make it her business. She has been constantly trying to get me to date her friends that I'm not interested in. At one point, she claimed that I was a lesbian because I didn't like any of the guys she wanted to set me up with. Getting back to the story, when my aunt talked about the church's plan, to still offer help during Christmas despite COVID, I told her that I have tons of scarves and hats to give. My aunt was delighted and asked me to bring them to her as soon as possible. I agreed. However, the day I wanted to bring them to her, I was unfortunately called to come into the office to replace a colleague. So instead, I asked my sister-in-law if she could pick up the bag with the scarves and hats, specifically stating to take the bag that was sitting at the top of my stairs. As I said, my niece loves the color pink and she asked me to make her a neon hot pink hat and scarf with a white heart. I agreed and had just finished them both and left them in a drawer in my living room. I was planning to wrap them up and give it to my sister, her mom, later on. Fast forward to this evening. I come home. I notice my sister-in-law had come by and taken the bag. Oh, great. I thought. It then reminded me of my niece's gift. I went to the drawer to get them so I could wrap them and they were gone. I checked everywhere for them, thinking maybe I had misplaced them. Maybe I had put them in that bag my sister-in-law grabbed by mistake. I immediately called my aunt, but she couldn't find them. There were were no neon hot pink scarf or hat with a white heart. I call my sister-in-law in a panic. She picks up and tells me that, yeah, she had seen the scarf and hat. Oh, thank God, right? Nope. Turns out that dear bitch-in-law apparently decided that I hadn't given enough for charity, so she decided to snoop around my house to find more things to take. She took four other scarves and hats that were gifts for other people, as well as my niece's gift, and also decided to rearrange my drawers because they were not clean and organized. I put my rage on the back burner for a while because my niece's gift was more important for now. When I asked Syl where all the other stuff was, she responded that she had taken it and gave it to her niece because her sister was in need. 
She then went on to say that I should be happy that I helped her niece and sister out. I should add that her sister is not in need. They live in a huge house with what I'd imagine to be a six, if not seven figure income. So to say that I was offended and pissed is an understatement. I proceed to lose my shit at her. How dare she? She goes through my stuff, takes my belongings, gives away my gift for my niece, and then has the gall to give me a lecture on how I should be happy that I helped a spoiled brat who has two rich parents? I told her that if the scarf and hat weren't in my possession by tomorrow night, I was going to sue the shit out of her. She scoffed and hung up. I called everyone in my family, especially my other brother, who is an officer. Long story short, 20 minutes ago, my sister-in-law brought me the scarf and hat back and apologized. She was in tears as my brother, bless his heart, had swung by her house and had stated that she could be arrested for thievery. I just took my stuff back, thanked her for doing the right thing, and closed the door in her face. I was so angry at her that I was numb inside. Small update. Just wanted to let you all know that I did not make a point of complaining about Syl to my brother that's dating her. I wanted him to figure out on his own, with no outside influence, of how ridiculous and entitled of a person she is. Anyways, my brother caught wind of what his girlfriend had done, and he stayed stated that it was the last straw for him. They broke up and I hopefully never have to see her again. A Christmas miracle. What an awesome brother-in-law. I hope OP knit him something extra special for Christmas. I'm also so happy to hear that the other brother broke up with that delusional entitled woman. It always amazes me when wealthy people seem to think that they are more worthy of charity than actual people in need. Like, yes, definitely Karen. Your sister that makes six figures a year deserves hand-knit items more than struggling families that can't even afford to buy Christmas dinner. Please, steal as much as you want for your extremely fortunate niece that has a warm place to sleep. Much more deserving of winter clothes than someone freezing on the streets. Like, give me a damn break. The greed and lack of humility in some people is just astounding, isn't it? And what do we call these people, ladies and gentlemen? Say it with me. Asshats! Yay! But anyways, <laughs> that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this Entitled People story. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I'll see you tomorrow for day two of Brumis. Bye!